So now I'm a, I'm a first time producer. I come into you. How do I get a show on your air? David. <laughs> if, you're, if, if, if you're a Henry, just come up with a really good title. <laughs> He's the king of titles. I, I, I'm in awe of your titles. Thank you. <laughs> we, every morning we kind of go through the list of what you've come up with. But uh, no, I think um, really good programmers have one absolute gift, and that's they can see a diamond in the rough. And a lot of times people spend too much time trying to tailor their idea or their pitch to the network. Um, and I, let, I tell people that, you know what, um, let me do that. That's my job. So don't do my job. If you're passionate about a story, a great character, uh, a great uh, place that you've discovered, um, or a really interesting perspective, and you're not quite sure what to do with it, don't worry. You're going to ruin it if you try to do my job. Uh, so come on in. Um, Let's sit down. Uh, we, have a, we have a system where we actually are partners with producers. Uh, the success at all the A&E brands is based on that partnership. Uh, and, and we have created some of the, the best television out there by just sitting down and working with you. Uh, so my, my, my advice is a good idea will get you right in the door. Uh, and then together, let's figure it out and, and make it into a great TV show. Will, will a bad one get you right out the door? <laughs> no, I'll just send it down to... Uh, to uh, Mark here. Thank you. <laughs> go see Mark at We. I've said Love it, but go did. see Mark. <laughs> I have so, a slightly different perspective. Yeah, Mark, go ahead. Because you're a broader general entertainment network. We, are, uh, we have a specific target and a specific type of programming we do. So for us, it's come to us with shows that you think will work on our air, that will work with our audiences. Pretty much you have to know our network. I think nothing shuts us down faster than someone who's either telling us a show that's already on another network or has no idea what's on our network. So it really, it's hard to speak to the types of questions we're going to ask you, and you're not going to have the right answers. But I also think if you are just have an idea and you don't have an agent and you don't have a, uh, any connection, I, I would recommend you team up with a production company because I know we would not just have anyone come in, pitch an idea, and say, OK, here's, here's a check. Uh, I think you'd have to be. If we love your idea, we'll partner with a production company, um, or you should go to production companies and have them come pitch it, because there are a lot of elements of a show on the business side that need to be managed and that need experienced hands to do that. And, and as somebody who has a production company, I'll say this, is that ultimately we have an open door policy. There are production companies that, it, that are easier to get into than others. There are ones that won't even talk to you if you did, but agent hasn't sent you over. Um, but you, you should take the time to like bang the door and bang on the doors of production companies that you want to work with, that make the type of stuff that you want to make, that you feel like have an alignment of ideology that makes sense. I think it really, really helps. But I think that's a really good note in terms of making this session mildly useful for, uh, for you and the audience is I don't think your port of first call should necessarily be the network. I think that's kind of a fool's game sometimes. Maybe it is better to actually approach an established production company, somebody that you know, somebody that you like, somebody that's in the business, and to go in with them. Because I do think we are suckers for auspices, especially for those that we've worked with successfully before. And so listen, there's always going to be a little bit of a, a note of temer trepidation on our part where somebody comes in with a terrific idea, but we're not sure, and then we have to go through the homework of marrying them to a production company. It's just one step that you can avoid, and I think makes the pitch and the sale a little bit more effective. And just related to that, I really want to pick up on a note that Mark uh, sort of mentioned. The most common mistake, I think, that is made by producers, both established and new, is they come into any one of our networks, and they really don't know the network. They may have a great idea, but I think these ideas are best accepted and I'm, as, as the receiver of, of our development if, to some extent, um, is l literally having someone say that, I watch your network. And while this is somewhat derivative of X or Y, it takes it to the next level, or it's the logical variation on it. And it's somebody who understands not only showing up with passion, everybody, you, know, you hear that word every day, pa you gotta have passion, passion, all bullshit, passion, passion. Everybody comes with passion. The idea is to understand what our audience is looking for, not so much what you're passionate about. Why our audience, whatever that network's audience is, as you understand it and have some research behind you, whether it's just cocktail conversation or anecdotal or whatever, 
But so for you to say, I watched your network and I see what's working and I see how your audience loves X, Y, Z or whatever. And this is, I think, some aspect of it. Maybe it's a little bit at the extreme, maybe it's at its core, maybe it's the direction that you're thinking of pursuing. So that we are hearing language that, that makes sense to us from a sales point of view. Beth, what's the most likely way to get you to say yes to a pitch? Um, well, first of all, we, will, we listen to every pitch, but don't send them to me, zfrankel at pbs.org. We are public television, and so we look at every single thing that comes through the door. It's our job, and, and, and um, we take it really seriously. Our job is also um, to, to fill the market gaps, to do what the commercial guys aren't doing, so do not bring me cable leftovers. I don't want the thing that got pitched to every cabler and, and didn't get made. Our job is to, to, as I said, to fill fill the gaps. We need to educate, we need to entertain, and we need to inspire. We also have a mission. Um, and, and we're in a lot of different uh, genres. We do arts. Last night it was Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett. I hear that Twitter, like, came down because there were so many people tweeting about it. Um, you know, we, we do arts, we do drama, we do science, we do history, we do biography. So we're in a lot of different spaces. So uh, Henry kind of made fun of passion, but... Um, yeah, we hear it all the time, but it really actually works. So it's a creative idea. Be really passionate. Buy me a drink and pitch your tits off. <laughs> I would like to add one thing. <laughs> That's just yes. for the guys in the room. <laughs> <laughs> if you have, uh, part of it is about the characters in a show, and if certainly if it's a nonfiction, unscripted show, to have that character on tape would be very, very helpful so we can see really see who this character is. And a lot of times, that's what will sell us on a show, is just a great character, a group of characters. Mm -hmm.